Well, Eureka was founded by uh, an idea from Albert Einstein to gather the world's uh, greatest scientists and most brilliant minds together in one place, and uh, the government of the United States funded it and created it. The show takes place in this tiny little town called Eureka, and it's full of the greatest minds in the United States. And they all work at a government-controlled facility called GD, Global Dynamics. And in Global Dynamics, we come up with all of the technological advancements for the military to use, and we usually have to save ourselves from them each episode. You set Joe's house on fire to get her attention. Okay, I see your point. Well, it's a, it's a very unique place. It's where the smartest people from all around uh, the United States have come and, and other places around the world uh, to cure or hopefully um, solve the world's greatest problem. Well, Eureka is a small town with a big secret and equal amount of risk because everyone who lives in Eureka is a genius um, who are indirectly working for the DOD, that is the Department of Defense. Eureka was, um, according to Jamie's amazing uh, Bible he created for the show, was created just after World War II by uh, Einstein and a group of other scientists to gather all the brightest minds in the world. We added a lot to that um, myth and to that um, history over the last few seasons, uh, including to say that it was originally a part of projects during World War II and then kind of made a transition from a military to a civilian facility, and we showed that transition. You know, it's, it's sort of progressed into this really amazing town with lots of inventions and this uh, huge um, global dynamics, this huge corporation. And uh, also within that, there's, you know, sort of the faux, the faux Eureka, which is what sort of everyday people, if they happen to drive through Eureka, that, that, that they would see, which is just a normal town of deputies and sheriffs and, and people living in and living out their lives. What makes it special is that it's made up of all these brilliant minds. I think everyone's you know, IQ in the town is off the charts, which makes for some odd people at times. <laughs> Sometimes when you're so smart, it makes you a little off, and I think that's what makes uh, the show fun. What'd you do? Got rid of her. It's for the best. So. Who wants breakfast? Um, the thing that's special about Eureka is, um, unless you know where it is, you're not getting admission to Eureka. So it's um, it's a, it's like it's kind of like a secret society, if you will. You have these like quirky individuals with uh, making, you know, building things that could destroy uh, the town or the planet at any, any given moment, and then we are all there to run around and solve the problem. So we do everything from, you know, creating wonderful things uh, that might help in everyday life to creating things that no one has ever seen before, quite possibly having created global warming, maybe. Um, so it is, as I say, a small town with a great amount of risk because of the kinds of things that the scientists, mathematicians, whomever, get involved in at, in Eureka. <laughs> Well, we shoot in Vancouver, British Columbia, and have since the beginning. First of all, shooting in BC is a remarkable experience because it's so lush and beautiful and green. So that serves as a, a great uh, backdrop. We transform the little town of Chilliwack into we, like I do anything, right? We come in uh, and we put in uh, facades and greenery and put tr uh, trees in and hanging plants and all this stuff. We put in the fake Cafe Diem front. Um, we close down the street, it's Main Street. The store, owner, the store owners are so kind and so nice to us, they still let us use their bathrooms. They still let us, you know, like, could we change in here? And it, it provides us with a really nice heart. The heart of the show, I think, is not only just the characters, but the town itself. The town is a character, and we try to give it that um, Pacific Northwest appeal. Eureka is a place where minds get to run free and get to go where they want to go and then we see what amazing things come out of it. So it's kind of a think tank, if you will, uh, a, a Los Alamos, but for all different divisions, not just for nuclear, but all different. Every possible element you could possibly imagine uh, is sort of the wonderment of discovery, all wrapped up in one Pacific Northwest town. <laughs>